King County is facing a federal lawsuit tonight over its refusal to allow anti-Israeli ads on Metro buses. The lawsuit was filed in U.S. District Court today. As John Hopperstead reports, the group behind the ads is teaming up with the ACLU to try and get the controversial billboards back on the road. supposed to be on a dozen King County buses by now. Controversial anti-Israel ads claiming U.S. tax dollars were funding war crimes against Palestinians. To demonstrate on a mainstream venue that uh, mainstream people care about this issue. The group behind the billboard, Seattle Mideast Awareness Campaign, now has the American Civil Liberties Union on their side. Tuesday, the ACLU filed a lawsuit against King County for refusing to put those banner ads on county vehicles. In a free and democratic society, we cannot allow the, the government to suppress ideas, even, even speech that stirs up emotion. The ACLU insists it's a free speech issue. King County Metro Transit, which initially approved the ads, rejected them after news of the billboard sparked outrage across Seattle and around the world. Now, the county says it all came down to security. The escalation of this issue from 12 local bus placards to uh, widespread and often vitriolic international debate introduced uh, a new and legitimate concern of a risk of harm to or disruption of the bus system. We can't uh, determine who gets to talk about what based on the, re the responses by other people. If the other people are going to engage in some kind of uh, criminal conduct, they have to be held responsible for that. County policy no longer allows non-commercial advertising on buses, but this lawsuit could change that. The ACLU is asking the court for a temporary injunction against King County. If it gets that, those ads could still end up on Metro buses, and it could happen within the next couple of weeks. In Seattle, John Hopperstead, Q13, Fox News. And though it's no longer accepting political ads, King County Metro is still working on a final bus ad policy.